Yankee. Yankee. Whoa. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Happy post Christmas day. It's the day after Christmas, and you know what that means. What? Get back to sinning, everyone. Santa stopped Woo! watching us. Ha ha. We sinned earlier. We did. Opening Steve's box. Yeah, which was a so, lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks again. The chocolates were sinful. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, welcome. Uh, I hope you all had a nice little sleep. Did you have a good holiday? A good holiday. Happy holidays. Um, but yeah, there's some discounts going around, so you know, do your do your, your delayed shopping. Well, there's definitely discounts oh, yeah. in Canada. I, I know the Steam store actually. I got I got this game. Uh, oh like yeah, 20% Steam off. Steam Steam Winter Sale is happening. Yep, and I actually bought a rise, so that's cool too. Thirty percent off, good oh. deal, good deal. Oh, I'm in the middle. You're all in Among Us zone. Get out of Among Us um, zone. Yeah, this is Inscription. I don't know too much about this game, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I know it's got a stoat card, and I freaking love stoats. They're I love my stouts. You love stouts. Yeah, I love stoats. Stoats are so cute. Um, and right before we start, let's see what happens. Do you have something to play? Yeah. 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 Hey. Happy holidays. Hey. Happy holidays, hey. Jamie. Happy holidays. <laughs> and thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, wrong. Ah! it's wrong. Don't look at it. I won't. <laughs> thank you, Jamie. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> sorry for being so aggressive. Happy holidays. I'm sorry we missed you on uh, on Christmas. On Christmas. <laughs> I hope you had a really great time, though. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're going to be playing this, uh, and then very shortly, I know I'm promising for a long time, but actually after this, we'll be doing Earthbound or Promising 9. I'll put a vote <laughs> for those two games. Um, actually, for real, we'll be playing Earthbound or Final Fantasy, Fantasy 9, 9, both of yeah. which we've been talking about for, for a years, long time. <laughs> and Pokemon, yeah. which is something we've yeah. also been talking about for, for a, a shorter long, period of time. For a while. Yeah. Like no, I, we, we've, we, been, we've we've talked about Pokemon. We never said we're gonna play a Pokemon game. No, we. But I mean, internally, we've been yeah. like, we, oh, if we oh. do a Nuzlocke, how we do it? How we do? It? And then uh, Jaden Animations was like, "Hey, two player Nuzlocke's a thing," and we're mm. like, "What? What?" Yeah. But anyways, uh, let's just let's just dive let's into just it. Let's just get inscripted into this game. Daniel Mullins Games. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Mullins. Daniel. Devolver Ooh. Digital. My favorite E3 presentators. Oh, uh, really? Time to figure out what's on this thing. Booting it oh, up. I know oh, that's cool. Okay, time to see what's uh, on this thing. Oh, um, new game, continue, options, credits. Hmm. It's weird because new game seems great out. I know, right? You can only continue. By Which is way. weird. Oh. Oh, you play the card. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. Um, oh, neat. Graphics quality, ultra. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. It seems fine. Yeah, sure. Oh, pause one windows. I, I, I always prefer that. Sure. You pushed for Pony Island for date night, but never got picked. I remember that, Monica. I oh. remember seeing Pony Island a lot. Uh, the creator of this game created Pony Island, right? Oh, is that true? Wait, 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 wait. The fucking fuck right now. We're going to get Pokemon on this channel. <laughs> I've been gone for most of the week. What? Slowpoke! Ooh. Yeah, we're doing a two-player Nuzlocke. Not yeah. a Soul Link. It's going to be... um. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the we'll rules. We'll talk after. about the rules after. I guess continue this game that we've never played before. So I think the story is where someone who's put this game in not knowing what it is. Yeah. Oh. And so now we're continuing someone else's file, I guess. Yeah. Like when you rented a game from Blockbuster, right? Oh, good. Hello. Who are you? Hello. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Well, I mean, they couldn't have been very good. They didn't get uh, past the tutorial. Yeah, so. right? Play the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Stoat costs one blood. Sacrifices, Sacrifices must be made. Oh. <laughs> it's like Yu-Gi-Oh! Squirrel looks so scared. Sorry, squirrel. Time for stoats! An honorable death. 
play the stoat. The wolf requires two sacrifices. You do not have enough if you are lacking. Sacrifices, your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is the attack power of one. I attack your life points directly. Ooh. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to, to the scale. If you, or you win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. We won! Ooh, nice hand. My turn. Your stoat stand in the way of my coyote. <gasps> Ow! My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is too less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. What? If your life points reach zero, you die. What? <laughs> That's true. It's my turn again. You may draw from the deck. You may draw for draw a squirrel. Oh, <laughs> that's oh, squirrels fine. are free. Okay, I definitely you... want a squirrel. How dull. Oh yeah, you think that's dull? Wait until you see. I play my wolf card. Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. <laughs> Oh, the wolf has low HP. Wait. Why was I low? Ah, there it is. I see. Because you are learning, I will pass. Wow. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. I kind of want to piss this guy off. Make him mad. Keep getting squirrels. <laughs> blink, blink. <laughs> right? I sacrificed my wolf and the squirrel to play a wolf. Aha! Aha! Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Pass. Okay. Squirrel in hand or card? Ooh. A river snapper. Whoa. Wow, low attack, high HP. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Ah, cool. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Doop, boop, boop. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. A cat! The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Oh! The Cossack Adder. Damage from its poison's bite is always lethal. Oh. Only one may grace your poultry oh. deck. This is cool. I take it the cat. Ew. Another creature joins your caravan. <laughs> Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. <laughs> the cat's on brand for the channel. Yeah. Ooh. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Squirrel in a bottle. And have a second. Oh. Another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. From here, you mustn't tarry. I'm going to play some things. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hi guys. Hi. I had a nice holiday even though I haven't been in a Christmas mood due to reasons. My only gift was a holographic comic panel of the Flash and I am in love. Half. Aw, that's cool. Sangetsu, I wasn't Congrats. in the Christmas movie e mood either and then I or made my myself. Christmas movie. <laughs> oh, thank you. Two halves, I hope you guys had a happy holiday and are full of love. Oh, Sangetsu! I really did. I, my, my, whole, Absolutely. my whole life got turned upside down when I came to stream with my Christmas spirit in tow. It was so <laughs> much fun! Thank you. And yeah, I hope I hope you're feeling better a bit soon. And I'm glad you're here with us. Yeah. I have to go to the bathroom. Sorry, my insides. Yeah, for My sure. insides. You can keep going. Uh, you were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> Oh, you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Play along for now. 
<laughs> you may see my moves ahead of time. Ah, cool. Hmm. So I wonder if they attack directly across. I think they do. So I'd want to hide my cat. You were lacking the sacrifice of a cat, but you do have a squirrel. Right. So if I put the squirrel here for now. Um, and then I'll play the cat on top of the squirrel behind the boulder. Uh, and then I'll play the stout by sacrificing the cat. My items may help. Here we go. Ah, don't want to sacrifice the stout again. You know what? Sure. I'll take a squirrel in a bottle. I can play the squirrel, and then we can sacrifice the cat again, and the squirrel. Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess that's fine. I'll play the river snapper. Well, and that's it. Oh, is that, oh, that's our hand. Ow. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Oh, it'll grow up. I think I'll draw from the deck. This is really cool. Um, and the bat's coming in there. Yep, there it is. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. No! Some magic gathering stuff there. Ha! My bat flew right over your stout. But can the stout attack the bat, I wonder? Um, hmm. There's not... I mean, we'll have to see. Nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'll start by playing my squirrel. And then I will play the wolf. Because I'm hungry like the wolf. I guess I draw the squirrel. Get fricked. You prevailed and trekked onwards towards past the now bloodied terrain. I feel like I'm inside a like monsters and uh, of monsters and men song. Now we get some cards. Cool. The wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. Uh, a meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Um, I personally like the sparrow here. I think. Uh, the sparrow flies over where the wolf cub turns into a wolf after a turn, but I don't know. I, I think I mean like three attack on the wolf is pretty good, but I, I took the sparrow. <laughs> Maddie, I get that reference, and I agree. <laughs> right? What is this though? You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Ah! Oh! You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever? Uh, I think it's gotta be the sparrow. The, the infinite sacrifice cat's pretty useful. I just got you, sparrow. I'm sorry. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Oh, neat. Oh. You know what? Pick me. <laughs> That's so cool. But uh, uh, I don't know if I want to trust this stout, but... The stout? I'm gonna do it. You love stout? I love stout. stout. Um, you can right-click on the things to see what they do. <laughs> Oh, really? Of the cards, yeah. Uh, airborne. Stoat is just stoat. Behold, the rule book. Mighty Leap. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne oh, sigil. Cool. I have no clue what's going on, but this is such a cool aesthetic. Right? By a woman! It, it is. It's a little unnerving, but I like it. <clears throat> ah, a ghastly spectacle. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. But the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. Oh, 
Ah! Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne skill. Sigil. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic. Really. Enough. <laughs> Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Wow, this stoat has feelings. Uh, so what do you got coming up? A uh, bat and a coy coyote. Flying coyote? Flying bat, flying coyote. Shoot. Emergency squirrel! Emergency squirrel! What are you gonna play? Your flying stoat? They're both flying. I know. No, I, I gotta play the cat first. Uh, oh, the, sto the stoat has three health, huh? They both attack for two. That's too bad, if you will. <laughs> uh, I guess I could play both. So, flying creatures cannot attack opposing creatures? Back on the board. Oh, I like how it flutters. That's really cool. Well, that's that. My, to my totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. Whoa, what? I took all that damage, eh? I guess that you, they were unblockable. I mean, I get the river you one. You just have a, a, a empty hand. Can you yeah, punch? No. Can you <laughs> punch? Um, a wolf. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Airborne. So it just goes over, eh? I see. It's a little yeah, different. Yeah, you need airborne block. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. So it's a race, is it? I could take the squirrel and play the wolf. I think I'll do that. My cat's gonna die. Anywho. From the wolf cub, sadly. Well, I don't know. It might just attack over, but then you'll be dead. Oh, right, because they fly. Yeah. That's okay, though, because I can put more weight on his side. Uh, I should be okay if I'm understanding how the scales work. Yeah, right. Ding, ding! Here comes the damage! You're three damage away from winning. That's okay. Yeah. Cat, uh, the river snapper's kind of screwing me here. I could, I could use a higher damage card, to be perfectly honest. Like a wolf? <laughs> Ooh. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Hello, Denoli. Hi. Knock on wood. Ooh, cool. New cards. Bop. The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. The watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Sparrow. Stinky. You're so stinky. Loses one power, eh? The skunk's a good blocker, but flying is tough. But I don't think the bullfrog's good enough to block a lot of flying. I think I just might as well out damage the flying at this rate. Yeah, because that's just one unopposed damage, as long as they don't have anything to block it with, versus making it weaker. Does the stink only uh, block the or reduce the the attack of the card directly uh, opposed to it. Yeah, opposing, yeah, opposing okay, card. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The bullfrog or the skunk. The skunk is a tough pick because it it itself does no damage. Yeah. But I could fuse the skunk into something else. Oh, and make something stinky. Yeah. And, you do, you're, and attacking. You're having a. You're coming up to another thingy, aren't you? I think so. Yeah. Up there. So I I don't know what this does, but it maybe like usually these heal you. Yeah. But I'm like. I don't really have any health in this game, so I'm confused about that. And I don't think we've seen one, but I definitely want to make a sacrifice. A stinky stoat! <laughs> stinky stoat! Stinky stoat. Stinky stoat. Ah, perfect. Mm. 
or Stinky Wolf. Stinky Wolf would be pretty, uh, pretty scary. Pretty scary indeed. Yeah. I'm sad we can't make Stinky Stoat. Stinky River Snapper would also be something because six health, but I think we go with Stinky Wolf because Stinky Wolf can kill like basically anything that comes after it. Yeah. Let's do it. Stinky Wolf. Stinky, stinky Wolf. wolf. A stinky Cat though, <laughs> but Stinky Turtle. Uh, yeah, Stinky oh, Turtle. Oh, smelly Cat. Sm <laughs> smelly smelly cat. cat. What are they feeding you? It's skunks. Smelly Cat. Smelly, smelly Cat. cat. It's not your fault. They won't take you to the vet. You're obviously not, not their favorite pet. <laughs> smelly cat. It's smelly the cat. Best thing to come out of friends. Um, I want to see what the fire is. Both of these are new, but I think that's cool. So I'm going to go uh, for More that. items? Yeah, because you only have the pliers. It's true. Left. Which, what does it do? Uh, I think it's like a heel. It says it tips the scales. Oh, you have oh, a grand, grand fur, fur and which blocks, blocks flying. flying. Oh, which is great because there's a flyer coming right down that grand fur. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That burp came uh, out of nowhere. Oh, that's a freaking grizzly. <gasps> that's a freaking grizzly. Smelly wolf. Holy shit. Smelly wolf won't Holy be able to, w to win against it. I got nothing that can win against that. That's crazy. Too bad you don't got your flying stoat. River Snapper wouldn't be bad. Uh, if I put the Flying Stoat out there, I think this guy would, one, eat that Flying Stoat. No, it couldn't. It can't attack the Flying Stoat. Yeah, it can. It can? Yeah, it can. Because oh. that, that's how I dealt with the, the other things. But the only reason why it didn't before is because they were both flying. Oh. So they were just flying over each other. Oh. <laughs> I'm flying higher than you're flying. Yeah, uh, screw you. Um, my Stoat's years above yours. I'm thinking of, is this my Smelly Wolf? No, it's not my smelly wolf. Uh, because yeah, I gotta, I gotta get wolves out. And you can't drop cards yet, can you? No. Wait, what does that pliers do? I think it just tips the scales. Ow! 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 Ah! Ow! That's what it does. That's what it does. Are you happy now? Well, and I didn't think you would really do it. Are you happy now? I didn't know. I just wanted to see. <laughs> Oh no, you're about to be attacked by bad CGI. Is this Golden Camwe? Oh god. Oh god, there's grizzles everywhere. Oh, grizzles! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You don't have anything that can deal with that grizzle bear. I'm so sad that you don't, uh... Ooh! I know. <laughs> I need I need those squirrels in a bottle. You need squirrels. Well, the thing is, it's a roguelike, so if you fail, it's not too big of a deal. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. <laughs> Can you literally just grab the scale and tip it? No, it just tells you where you are. Okay, okay. Stone, help me. Help me, bro. <laughs> Stone. Stone, help me. Come on, Stone, tell me what to do. How much damage does Stone do? One. <laughs> Flip the table! <laughs> I say we just punch. We just punch with our punch hand. Oh, Stoat's gonna die. <laughs> well, don't much choice now, Stoaty boy. There's like no way for me to survive this. Ack. <laughs> You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Oh, God. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Bring it here. Now sit back 
down. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. Uh, it's 420. Oh, the god, there's a hand there. Oh. Those must it's be like the players of before. Of past, right? Oh, like a neat. Jumunji or something. <laughs> Jumun Jumunji? It's Jamungi. Oh, there's a glob. A globule. Oh, it's a picture of the table. Oh, a key. Oh, God. Can you light candles? That's a weird looking globule. Can you click and drag that? Nope. No. Really neat. I didn't expect any of this in a card playing game. Jamongi. Let me explain something to you. Oh. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Please don't. Now, where were we? Oh, and that probably maybe lights the candle? I'm gonna find out. I've changed my mind. It's a good call. Wolf. The oh. flightly elk. Sprinter, at the end of it of the owner's turn, the card bearing the sigil will move in the description. Oh, in the direction inscribed on the sun. Okay, so it'll move left. What is this or little right, sombrero sorry. thing? I kind of skipped over it by accident. I know, you did. We don't know. Can you right-click it? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to take the elk, though, I think. It's pretty strong. Yeah, elk's pretty strong. Oh. You came across a small group of survivors. Oh, that's what these were for, I guess. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around the campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know if I trust, I don't know if I trust like that. They're going to eat you. <laughs> I sneezed all over my boots. I'll send wolf. Oh, the fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Oh. I wonder if there's a chance of it being eaten. Yeah, that's cool. Is my keyboard okay? No, it broke. <laughs> oh, wow. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill must mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Oh. Ah! Hey, oh, it was the prospector. Ah. He's doing prospector again? Easy, boss. The mule's key. The mule's key. The mule's key. Can you leave the table? No. The mules. Oh, oh! The mule! The mule! The and that's gonna, mule. that's gonna move to the right. Yeah. So it's gonna move up one. So if you. Yeah, you could make that second spot real strong somehow. I don't know if I'll be able to get it in time because if I. Do the flying stoat this turn. You can only stand up when the map is unraveled? Okay, good to know. Oh, it's blocked. Shoot. Okay. Oh. I need to draw another squirrel.
squirrel. I'm sad I used those squirrels so early. That stoat is so unimpressed. <laughs> yeah. I love stoat though, man. You are lacking sacrifices. Your boulder cannot be sacrificed. Oh god. Boom, boom, boom. God, oh man! Oops. Too bad we didn't make invincible stoat. <laughs> We'd lose the cat and that would be sad. Oh, stoat said something. Oh, did he? Yeah. Are you sure we can't draw blood from that rock? Maybe we just aren't trying hard enough. Oh, it's moving left now. Oh, no way. Ah, I messed up. More gold for me. Yeah. Ooh. Stoat said, wow, seriously? Yeah. Bad play on my part. Bad play. Oh, oh, oh. Was that out the door? I think so. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Oh. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. There are no mediocre cards in my deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, they're both two cost, aren't they? A cost of two blood from the Ripper Snapper. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Four power and two health. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Ooh. The sigil of many lives from the cat. I never did ask you your name. Hmm. 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 What name do you think, chat? It's too bad we only got uh, like two bloods to choose from, a, like a single one. Mm hmm. Yeah, it would have been a broken card. Aegis 6. <laughs> My first Aegis donation three. on this channel because you deserve it. Oh, P.S. Pit. It's me, Pit. I just gained a new name and icon. <laughs> Pit nice. the Moss Dad. Aegis 4. Hello, Pit. <gasps> Better Tom. Better Tom? I think just Tom would be kind of funny. <laughs> just Tom? Your name. Mm. They did call this a death card, so I, I feel like I see that coming. <laughs> Goro Akechi. Chat. Chat is death. My bong too. My bong. My bong. Uh, Taj Terra Bad Times. Uh, for you. I'll make this the chat card. Why not? Which is funny because chat is French for cat. It is. Which is kind of what we are here. The chat card. I'm going to sack you sometimes. All the time. <laughs> sack you? Sack you. Sack me. There is now but one final matter. Our elf? What was his name again? Wait. Which elf? Which elf? Oh, like Fizz? The portrait. Are you ready? No. You do not need to smile. Death cam. Oh, from AI Dungeon? Oh. Brandolph! Brandolph! Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. 
You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Oh. Oh, hey, bud. Long time no see. Oh, it doesn't fly anymore. It's a new run. Oh, shoot. Three, eh? That would kill your stoke. It would. But it would. Oh, and then it wouldn't kill the rattler, right? That's correct. I'm wondering, should I just, like, leave it for a turn and take the three damage? Oh, bones. Right, for any reason. I guess that's okay, then. Because now we have a bone. From the death, you will not lose this until it is spent. Or oh, the battle ends. Yeah. And then that's okay. Because you get a pot of possum anyway. You're going to kill that opossum. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's going to kill that. Oh. Cuz it, it only has 1 HP. Yeah, they don't oh. they don't do the damage that way. The opossum is going to die now. Um What's our other card? Oh, the bullfrog. Bullfrog, don't bother me, bullfrog. Don't bother me. Yeah, sure we're not. <laughs> Squirrel! Squirrels! Squirrel army, baby. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Oh. Interesting. Throw me down. Oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Oh, that's the rule book. Where's the clock say? Oh! That's not the code, though, 1236. Are those knobs? It is knobs. Okay, so you need to know the the correct hour, minute, and second to open up this guy. This game is really cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, I have a plant. Ooh, I took the plant. You took the plant. Okay, this is. I guess this is to teach you to like stand up when. Uh... Oh. Oh, cool. Maybe the plant is your figurine. Uh, maybe I can do that. Was the ch the safe wiggling? Yes. Hello? I could brute force this safe, probably. <laughs> if it worked that way. Because uh, it would take a little bit. It would take quite a while, yeah. But then you just go, there's a one on the top, and then you go through them all, and the one, the two on the top, and yeah, then you go through Yeah, you'd have to do it each time, because then you'd have to, you'd have to basically go like that, and then like that, <laughs> and then redo that for each one of those. It would take quite a while. It would take a bit, a bit of time. Oh, a candle. But, yeah, let's try the plant and see what happens. The figurine is beside the safe. Okay, okay. Uh-oh. How do we put the plant down? We have plant in our hand. Oh, there it is. Oh, that looks like some sort of pulley system. Put that in the painting. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. 
You only take things from the painting, apparently. Okay. You can't use that right now. Sit down. Oh, shoot. Let us continue. I like your parasol. Thanks. And my bowler hat. It's pretty dapper. The unlike unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. Oh, four bones! The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature once passed. It's monstrous. The meager coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? So four bones, six bones, four bones. I think the cockroach is the way to go. Hell yeah, baby. Could you imagine fusing that unkillable onto something else? I know. You know, you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Ah. So stand up. Let's see what we can do. Oh, you didn't. Oh, I you did. did. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. <laughs> do you think this one would be easier to solve? No, I think it, it actually it's the same thing. There's, it's just there's with three more numbers. More numbers yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we put the plant over there. Can we pick it up again? Oh, can we put the plant on the table? I cannot. Interesting that you can put the plant down there though. Hmm. You've plucked that from the oil painting. You must not like the cards that I dealt you, deal you. Fine. Well, I have the plant now. Maybe. I don't know where it is. Was it a four-leaf clover? If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Choose one. Scissors. Use the scissors. You may cut up one of your adversary's cards. It is destroyed. Oh! I think that sounds like the most useful to me. Pretty pretty cool. Feeling overburdened enough with the full three items you carried on. So, I'm so curious where the plant went. I think you just have it now. Inside of you. Inside of me. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I have the plant. There's nothing else. Oopsies. I don't think I could touch any of these. No. All right. Well, I'm ready to consume plant. Wee. Okay. Boulder uh, and two coyotes coming in. But the thing is, one of the coyotes is going to be blocked by that boulder. So you got like three turns with it. Oh. Hi hand. Hi hand. Uh, squirrel. Okay. The real plant is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> this is okay. Uh, I should probably definitely draw a squirrel. Play said squirrel. Oh, one bone short. I hope that rock drops bones. Mm. Well, I guess. <laughs> Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't bother teaching about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Oh! oh let's look at the rule book. Okay. Appendix 273. 273. Oh, for the safe. So many rules. Ants. The value represented with ant sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. <gasps> ant deck! Oh, oh, mirror room. Maybe bell, bell ring. ring. Okay. Card oh, count. Wow. Boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice. Ooh. 
spoon of the magpie's eye. Oh. 273. Okay, so we got the... Wow, so many items. Holy crap. Um, oh, thanks, Stoat. Let's go open that... Oh, right, we can't yet. No, we can't. We can only get up on the map. We gotta, we gotta beat this guy into submission. Are you smart or something? Are you smart or something? Oh, we did get a bone from that rock. We can do the cockroach. Oh, nice. Don't oh. get ahead of yourself. You need to draw your cards. Yeah, squirrel and stoat. It's squirrel. It's squirrel. It's, it's squirrel. squirrel and stoat. Total misplay? You shut your mouth, stoat. You shut your mouth. I know what I'm doing. I don't know how sacrificing a squirrel for you could possibly misplay, especially when I win. Yeah, misplay that, stoat daddy. Two, seven, three. <gasps> Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is, is, is this stoat around? This stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. A key. Oh, but there's that. Oh, I the know. thing. Ooh. 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 What kind of puzzle are you, LOL? Oh, I wonder if this is the bell ring the rules we're talking about. Oh. Oh, I see. So it's like the game and then the bell rings. So it's like a, a chess problem, I think. I think so. The skink! I forgot I had put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one every so often. Mm. Ah. Uh -huh. Hey, Toru. Hello. Oh, you only dealt one damage out of five. So that one's stuck. Oh, I can see it. Can you? Yeah, because you can, the only one you can't move is that second one. Yeah. That's still not enough damage. Oh. Ooh, two. Oh, unless... <laughs> the answer is nips. <laughs> Am I doing the damage the wrong way? No. no. And you can't, like, uh, pick any of them up or slide them left or right. No, they're all stuck in their track. There's something saucy about this one, I think. I know. No, yeah. Bye, Steve! Thank you Bye. again! Yeah, the symbols are important. What is... What is? Oh, right. Is I can't read that. I don't know what that does. Oh, yeah, it might be. I. Oh, it loses its tail. Yeah, I guess so. Sorry, that, that's what's messing up. Okay, well, let's... We'll check that rule book. Um, where is it? Boop, 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 boop. Because it's like a lizard with its tail cut off. There, oh, there it was. Loose tail. When this card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil moves, moves to, to the, the right. right. Oh. Let's take one quick look at that. Uh, I assume a loose tail is like a one HP nothing, probably. Probably. Oh, 
and then it kills it. When Why don't you? Camp, okay, I got an idea. Right. Move the top two skinks or er, like, tails on the right up, and move the second column down. No, not that one. The other second column. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so I think that will do more damage. Four. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, more puzzle. More puzzle. More puzzle. Um, so ants get bonuses when ants are with ants. So you can ants all your ants. Yeah, like I'm like, I won't need ant rules. Meanwhile. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then Brute move, force. Oh, move wow, that left one up. The left one up? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Oh, you can't. Oh, I can't. Okay, okay. Um, ooh, I have it. The second the second column, move everything down. Except for that one. Oh. Because we hit four here. Oh, I know. The yeah, flying? move those two down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, not with the blocker, because the blocker's going to block. Yeah, yeah, there. Oh ah, yeah. There you go. Cage wolf. Oh. There he is. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what these do. Thorn damage. I guess when you attack it, you'll deal one damage back, I bet. I guess. Uh and then this would probably attack those two instead. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Move the left one up? Like that? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. No. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh. No. Yeah. Uh, move the left column all up one so it's in an attacking square. Uh, uh, this one? Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, the left one. This one? Yeah. Up here? Yeah. Wow. Huh. Wow. <laughs> Without <laughs> having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. I totally understood that puzzle. I would explain to you guys, but it's a bit, you know, complicated. I, it and I don't something think... to do with, like, the little horn symbol. I don't know what it was, but... Oops. Yeah, by bifurcated, bifurcate, by bi bifurcate. Carbon sigil will strike each opposing space to its left and right of the space across from it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a bit too high, bro. Frozen away. Oh, trinket bearing. Cool. Oh, I bet you the pack mule had that. Steel trap, amorphous, tidal lock, moon strike, moon strike. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It wow. will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. Oh, wow. Okay. Leader, where was that spiky one? I think you guys are the first people I've seen not brute force those. We actually did it. Uh, we did it right. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. I don't know what that means. Uh, I was looking for the spiky one. I think yeah, it was this way more. Oh, ant sprawler. When this card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Oh, that's nice. Ah, uh, sharp quills. Once the card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Yeah, okay. I thought so. Okay. Ah. Hello. Time for cards, Mr. Freeman. Oh, lucky. The invulnerable, invulnerable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. I kind of like that. Oh, hey, it's chat. You're looking pretty good. Yeah, look that at was you. a really good card that we made. Yeah, like it had it's infinitely sacrificable. Four, Four damage, tag, two health. <laughs> like we have it's, to take chat. It's hard to say no. It's hard to say no to chat. Hi, chat. Now, do you want to give chat more power? <laughs> the power of bees. Getting an item wouldn't be too good. No, we're full of items. Yeah, but going to the um, 
Campfire would be cool if you power could up power, power up a power car. Power up a car. Power up chat. Oh my god. Oh, what's the up there? What is if they ate chat? I know. What is that uh, encounter after the fire? I can't see. I don't know. There's a boss one up there, though. <laughs> so you're going to sack us? Hell yeah, baby. I'm going to do a sacrifice. <gasps> a sacrifice. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. So, oh, we have a queen ant. I oh know, my god. Which makes ants spawn. Oh, and then Oh, and its attack is basically Based on how, X, many how many how many ants. That's so cool. <laughs> so we're not sacrificing chat, no. that's for sure. Um unkillable. I know, I'm like the unkillable ant queen, but then it gets rid of the rid of the spawn. Mm. Um two bones. Well, the thing is you probably won't get to choose the ant queen to put it onto. You're going to have to probably choose a wolf. Oh, right. You're or right. Or a stoat. I like unkillable. Getting unkillable on something that doesn't cost four bones might be really cool. I think so. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> the unkillable stoat. The caged wolf. Uh, two bones. I think I'm going to go with the stoat. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Oh, you can have three sigils on a card? What? You can have three sigils on the card? Oh. Wow, that's so cool. Why didn't the man tell us? Because he doesn't want to lose. I don't want to lose. <laughs> you again. Indeed. <laughs> Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You gotta be... I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. The Ant Queen arrives! The Ant Queen! The Ant Queen! The Grand Fur! Well. <laughs> oh, I could play Stoat. Squirrel right and away. Stoat! Squirrel and Stoat! And it just goes back to your hand when it dies. Yeah. That's crazy good. Fine. Oh, it's got sundial on it. Leader, uh, Jason's cart bonus to game one power. Alpha, 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 alpha. What's that uh, sundial do? Oh, it's gonna turn to a wolf in one turn. Oh. So if I sack two, I can get a queen, which I think I'm gonna do. The stout will just go back to my, stout will go back to my hand, and I I think I'll get a stink bug too. Cool. How big is the queen? Three health? And you'll start getting ants. In my pants. <laughs> oh, right. The ants go to my Power head. Power in number. The ants creed. Crap. Oh, I have the stink bug, though. <laughs> Back in the game! <laughs> You're the stink bug, right? Back in the game! <sighs> Uh-oh. Wait, that tree attacked. Wait, what the frick? Oh, because it's the alpha. Ah, the alpha. <gasps> oh. oh. Okay. I think I need to squirrel. Dad, this tree's kicking your ass. <laughs> it's the Whomping Willow! <laughs> yeah. Keep me alive. Can you beat a tree, man? Cool. We done did it! Power up a card, sacrifice Ooh, a card. Oh, that's a trap. Oh, that's a trap. Unavoidable. <gasps> oh! You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at my pelts? Take a pelt free of charge. See the quality. No! You're leaving already? 
Please consider my pelts! Uh, uh, what, what, what? Y'all need more teeth for that one. Y'all need more teeth for that one. Y'all need more teeth for that one. But thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Yep. What's she gonna do? Oh. I don't think there's much else we can do in the room right now. More sacrifice. Uh, I guess maybe the pelts are used for sacrifice? I don't know. Or, yeah, because you have the caged wolf as well. Which the is caged interesting. Wolf. I, I assume... Oh, it's like an item. Right? It seems like maybe it's like equipment? It's confusing. Yeah, I don't know if it's anything about in the rule book, but I think we should just kind of go for it. We'll see. Uh, so we don't know what this is yet, right? That's the trader. Probably. Oh, yeah. Or, or items. Sorry, items. items. Oh, right, we're full on items. Uh, and that's a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And that is a power a of fire, which we don't know exactly what the campfire do. A Plus one attack. Starving survivors stood around a dying camper. There's room for a creature. The, the warm blood has its, its power. power. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop lip licking their lips. The symbol on the very bottom right indicates when it can be sacrificed. The knife symbol means it cannot be sacrificed. Oh, okay. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Having a strong, oh. unkillable uh, stoat would be cool, but also terrifying. Oh, chat! You could make chat stronger. <laughs> but what if they got eaten? But, <laughs> I, I was thinking of a, a stronger stink bug. Oh. <sighs> Is this wolf already at four? I can't see. It looks like it. I'm gonna do the stoat. <gasps> do the stoat in the fire. The power of the stoat was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Oh, I could have used something to chat too. Oh my god, we have you, chat. Do I play the bullfrog first? What do I got coming up? Oh, oh sparrows. Birds. You could block them, because, like, yeah, the uh, grand fur blocks sparrow. Yeah, my my bullfrog would die? No. No. And then I could sacrifice it after, and it would do the block, so... Then we can get chat out here and really start wrecking their day. Yeah, absolutely. Ow, ow. I need a squirrel to sacrifice for chat. Yeah. Squirrel! Squirrel! Now, do I kill the bird? No, that bat has to attack. I should take care of that bat first. <gasps> that bat will kill us, though. No. Uh, doing the damage is more valuable. Yeah. Chat's a monster. Oh, no, the bat wouldn't kill us. It'd fly over. Frick. Well, it's too late now. It's too late now. I think we're still going to be okay. Oh, kind of. Um, I got three bones. Oh, I can't sacrifice the tree because that symbol. I see. I see. Ah, oh, frick. Oh, frick, man. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, we're going to swing the scale back our way. You know what? I'll just, I'll take it. Because that's pretty cool. That's pretty darn cool. Okay. I got to get rid of that freaking bat. I see the way this is going. I can see. You can't do that! I need bones! I need to take your bones! You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. I need 
bones. Oh my god, you're right. I forgot that chat has infinity sacrifice. Sorry. You were correct. Thank you. I don't know why I forgot that. You're right. You're right. <laughs> well, I'm gonna draw. Oh, a rabbit pelt. Now I can see what this does. So it does get played. Oh, so it's just... It's like the trees, then. It's just an item. Interesting. Okay. I don't like that. Crap, I shouldn't have bought that. Well, no, we can trade it down the line, apparently. Oh, okay. Both of these are useless. Well, he's going to super die anyway, so... Yeah. I wish I could have super died him more. Damn it. Oh, this is new. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were more mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Oh, wow. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. <laughs> That's a ritual goat. Worthy sacrifice. The card bearing soldier counts three blood rather than one wow. when sacrificed. I'm going to take the grizzly, though. That grizzly is freaking scary. I need that kind of uh, oh. thing. Oh, the rabbit hole. A rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Okay, so it's just you get to basically free draw squirrels. Uh, yeah, but it's only when it's played. So you play it. I guess it, it then blocks, and then you get a rabbit to play later. Maybe. But it costs one. Because, like, it doesn't just produce ants or rabbits like you would think it would. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take the grizzly, though. Oh, I can take oh, two. Oh, you get another one. Oh. The elk is pretty good. The goat's good. I think the grizzly and the goat together is really good. Oh, hell yeah. These pelts are most excellent. My thanks. So that's interesting. You kind of take, like, dead cards in your hand to make it kind of harder, and then you get the payoff of doing the thing. If it was unkillable, that would be good. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh, because it would continually go back to my hand. Oh. Well, yeah, the Ant Queen. Uh, so this is the sacrifice spot. Block flying. Stinky. Hello. You um, could make Black Goat chat <laughs> and have un uh, sac always sacrifice worse three blood. I, work. I hope that works, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, I mean, let's try it. Uh, let's see how it pans out. Because someone said you can get up to three. Yeah. And I'd hate if this overwrote. Oh my god, yeah. There it is. Dirty. So dirty. Dirty, Chad dirty. Chad is the, like, Egyptian god card. I don't like having decks, though, where it's like your whole game hinges on drawing one card. I know. <laughs> my boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. Hey, wait, where's my first mistake? With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. The smoke. The incandescent clank, uh, clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Was the prosecutor? Eh? Ah, there's gold in them here. You're no prosecutor. Objection! I'll be right back. <gasps> He'll be right. After these messages, we'll be right back. Just, just relight the ca the candle forehead. Did I say prosecutor? <laughs> Objection! Objection! I'm ready to do the thing. Yeah, roo, you badoobal. I'm gonna uh, update the autopsy report to say you're screwed. <laughs> Cue the ad break. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna insert the ad. I'm gonna do it. Boop. I did it. <laughs> Who got ad? Bye, Steshi. 
I don't know if the door's closing is in here or if it's in the game. So Caged Wolf, what do you do? You just have six health. Okay. And can't be sacrificed. I wonder if when it dies, though, it, like, it doesn't say it does, but it's, you would think that once it dies, it would produce a wolf or a baby wolf or something. Go, 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 bones. The Bone King. When this card bearing sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Oh, wow. So you can just plop that boy down for free. Get four bones. You must kill that mule. I can sacrifice him? You can't sacrifice that guy. The smoke is sacrificable. Because those are going to come out and they're going to attack. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you should play that squirrel. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, the squirrel's not going to get hurt. Okay, no. you're fine. You're fine. <clears throat> I'm wondering if I should sacrifice both, and because the coyote has only two health, which would be sad. So I think I'm gonna pass a turn. That's fair, because nothing can really attack, can it? No. Oh, something's underneath it. So many bones. I need chat. Oh, you can get possum. Possum does one damage, which would kill the coyote. And it's good for sacrifice. Yeah. For the next turn, because if you draw a chat, chat's two, two blood. I know, I got squirrel in a bottle too. Oh, perfect. Because I was thinking, if I put a possum down and kill that, uh, I can get wolf down or something next turn. So yeah. I, I think this is worth it. Let's just play, this, play the slow game here. Yeah. Uh-oh, wolf cub is a bit scary though. Oh, it moved, you can kill it this turn. Uh, but what do we have? Yes. Remember his name. I believe I All lost right. some of my memory in the flash. Oh, in the flash. So your possum, oh, can't kill the mule. Not strong enough. I need to keep drawing cards. I have so many bones. I need to start using bones. Um, cool. So he'll hit there. Well, stink and, and bug has bones. Two bones. You only have... Oh, you have two bones. You can put Stink Bug out if I, you want. I have four bones. I guess I should. No, you use two to make possible. Oh, right, right, right. Um, I think that's pretty good, having Stink Bug out. And then, like... I think it's not a bad. I think that was too impetuous. Good play. See? Stinkbug thinks I'm Good cool, Nanny. I don't need your frickin' impetuity. Validation. And now. I need chat. You got a skink. Yeah. Oh, I can cut up one of their cards if I want to. True. Because that wolf is going to be a real problem. Boop. All right, I got time now. <gasps> Shoot! I messed up. Yeah. Now you can't get it. <laughs> I messed up. You messed up. Because I can't get rid of that boulder, and it's nope. not going to get rid of that boulder. Nope. Unless it switches left now. I oh, think unless it, might switch unless left. it turns, yeah, yeah. maybe. I, uh, you want to draw a chat? Because I can sacrifice. Ah, there you are. There you are, chat. I could use my squirrel in a bottle, sacrifice stink bug, play chat, kill thing, sack for everything. Yes, yes. I'm going to do it. Squirrel in a bottle. Squirrel in a bottle. Going to play it the right way. If you want to do play chat. Darkness you... takes me. Darkness takes me. Darkness takes me. Bye. Now what do I play? Tell me I can play everything. Do I play the skink? Who does do more damage? They all do one damage. Skink. Yeah, those cards aren't great. You need to draw the bear. 
the, I know, the right? grizzly bear. I hope you did. I hope you didn't think it'd be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Oh! No! Chad, no! G -g -g gold! I've struck gold! I can't believe that happened. Oh, the pack mule. I can't sack it. I'm gonna need some squirrels no matter what. What happened? Get him! Three health on that? That's... That's scary. Yeah. Something I know, thing. right? Oh, it didn't drop a tail card. A worker ant. Oh, is yeah. that a permanent ad? Chat Whatever became gold. Here, chat have waffles for being gold. I could play squirrel into ant. Ant would only be one attack. It's very interesting that, uh... Oh, I'm gonna play the bullfrog. That the, the, the boss has phases. Right? Like, that's pretty neat. Very cool. So that'll kill him. That guy. Nice. And then hopefully the mule should move over and we can kill the mule. Yep, 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 yep. It's working! It's working! It's, it's working! working! We watched Phantom Menace last night. We did. Um, are you an angel? Excuse me? Are you an angel? Poor I, Jake Lloyd. I could just keep throwing. Well, let's see. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna throw a squirrel in front of that for now. It's gonna die. I know. But I won't take damage and I can kill the mule. <gasps> yes! Cards! Oh! oh! Dang, now bit my mule! Well, you have a whole bunch of things now. A possum oh. you can cast for free. Which will kill. I won't allow you to play uh. a card before you draw a new one. Uh, I think I could use another squirrel. Because I can uh, get the cat and that would sacrifice. So, yeah, I'm going to take a squirrel. Because I think otherwise I've got a pretty solid hand. I think the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to play the possum there. And that'll kill that. Now you can only sacrifice. Oh, yeah. One the, squirrel. The is a freaking thing. You can, yeah, you can play the the squirrel sacrifice for the cat. The cat doesn't have z it does the cat use, will just die to the. It ad. does zero damage. The cat has zero damage. Oh, that's so I know. Sad. I kind of, I kind of messed up. I should have played uh, there first. I mean, I can just take one damage because the ant's gonna balance it out, and I'm not like in that much trouble. So let's just do that. I like that the, the the way that death happens is based on the scale. Mm -hmm. So, like, damage is always kind of a tug in of war. flux. Sure, let's draw a card. <laughs> ah! Prospector boss again. <laughs> again. Unkillable. Unkillable. Back to my hand, so that's pretty cool. That's so. pretty darn cool, actually. Squirrel! Stoat! You sure? Yes. Damn. Attack! Yeah, keep drawing. Let's see if we can get a grizzly and do big damage. Ooh, the ant, the ant queen. queen! But this guy is nothing, so. Ooh, can we do a big damage? Because you want to do the most damage possible. It sucks that that gold nugget's there. Oh, yeah, the there grizzly. I do, uh, I'd have to sacrifice all three for the grizzly. How much damage does the grizzly do? Four. Because you're currently doing four damage, so it doesn't yeah. make it. It doesn't make well, sense. Well, no, then I can play a squirrel to play nothing. <laughs> so yeah, that's sad. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be doing three overkill damage regardless of what you put down. Hello. Allow me to light your candles once more. 
I won't be killing you quite yet. This dude is crazy. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. A rare card? Choose carefully. Oh. A large, unimpressive specimen. A largely. A largely unimpressive. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. A poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? So it's like a cat. It's oh, and the rare cards have like a, a different border around their stuff. Yeah, this one has me the most curious because I, I just I wonder what it turns into. You a know? strange larva. What do you become? Uh, I'm damn, gonna, I think we're about the strange larva, but damn. I know. Seven, like, seven ugh. for four blood. <laughs> yeah. Child 13. Child. Child. Child? Yeah, I'll go for the child. It's like a dragon. It looks like it's Dragon sucks. goat. But that's the thing about it, though. Larva. I'll trust oh, I'm taking the child. I'm taking the child. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. doop a doop a doop a doop <laughs> the rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the, the wetlands. wetlands. Get your boots on, chat. It's about to get moist in here. It's about to get moist. It's about to get moist. <laughs> Can we check the room and see if something changed now? Because I, I we, we are on a new map. So my brain's like, something's different. I think I think we're going to have to die. For things to be different? Yeah. Because we got this, we got that, we got those. <laughs> Moving close to him. Oh! Ho, ho! Free teeth! Yeah, those are some damage. Or money. Oh, you're right. Money, you're right. Bones, yes. Money, 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 money. I like money. Arr, arr, arr. Arr. Um, I don't know what this is, so let's find out what this is. Yeah. Especially because that seems bad. And Although that would be nice. That would be pretty cool. Because <laughs> we used our scroll in a bottle, I think. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast. But decide the cost that you wish to pay. Oh, this is our plant. Oh, crap. It was a redo. That's what the plant oh. was. Oh, I didn't even look. Oh, sorry. I th oh, well, we learned. Um, Yeah, I'll pay three blood. The regal moose. The creatures of the wild will make way for it. A random card with a cost of three. What were you expecting? Can we make chat even more powerful? Let's make the brutal moose. The choice is yours. Um, <laughs> It's sad because we can sacrifice the child to get infinite a, sacrifice. I know, but it says, do you have the heart to sacrifice the child? I know. I So I think I'm going to put him out there. Not in, not here though. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think. Oh, like, cause you sacrifice in the actual game as well, right? What does the ma the the moose thing do? Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, the card bearing the sigil will move in the direction described. The sigil creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Okay. Okay. Don't use the shell. Okay. Um. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. So if there's room to the right, it basically is no damage. I think I want to get flying blocking. On whom do you wish to put it? I think the grizzly. I think I want to buff up this grizzly. You want to make the biggest bear. You want to make the biggest bear known to man. <laughs> oh, God, the bear jumps. The bear jumps. 
<laughs> bears are surprisingly good climbers. Yeah, right. You're not supposed to climb a tree no. uh, if there's a bear around. Well, G, G, we, go, we G, G, Golly Willikers, G, Jolly Willikers. You need some squirrels if you want to get any of these guys out. Uh oh. Haha. <laughs> it's hard to call it cowardly. Oh, it had two health. Can I sacrifice it too? I think I can. Yeah, you can. It's sacrificable. So if I grab a squirrel, I could play oh, the grizzly. But the skink doesn't have a tail anymore, so it no. can only do it once. Yeah. Which makes sense. That's really cool. Can I play the moose or the flying bear? Well, nothing's flying just yet. Oh, that adder's going to destroy that stump. I'm kind of okay with that. Because if I play the moose, I think it's just going to go by and just, like, demolish everything. Yeah, so. pretty sure. Bomb. Weak. Um, I probably need a squirrel. A flying bear is surprisingly frightening. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Because if I draw another squirrel, I could sacrifice the moose, which I think I'll do to take care of the adder. And I'll just barely survive. Yeah, I gotta do that. Sorry, moose! The moose is on the loose, but not for long. It's. get scoosed. Sorry, moose! Bonk. Oh, crap. I might have to sac. No, draw from your regular thing. Draw from your regular what? thing. What? No way. You could get a possum and win. Uh, I will die. Unless you get a possum and win. I don't take those kind of chances. <laughs> ah, excellent. It's always moose and squirrel. <laughs> Fuck you. Squirrel army, go! Apparently. Go, squirrel army! Okay. I think you're still out damaging him if you... <laughs> I know. Keep doing squirrel. I mean, why would you stop? It's a winning It's a winning stratagem. I... Well, yeah, you I, didn't I, put the squirrel I down. know, I know. I'm being greedy. Oh, shit. Oh, oh that's fine. That works. <laughs> Unlimited squirrel works. Oh, the plant's back. <clears throat> the plant. Oh, I should tip. Definitely take a leave. Oh, the, the beaver! The industrious beaver, when bladed, constructs a dam adjacent to it. The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. I gotta go with the beaver. A dam is created on each empty adjacent dam. A dam is defined as zero power, two health. So it just creates blockers. Which is pretty damn cool. The beehive is cool, though. A uh, sigil struck, a bee is created. One health. Oh, that's fun, too. Could you imagine, oh my god, if I fuse the beehive onto the bear? bear yeah, bee <laughs> Every time I punch the bear, it spits bees at me! <laughs> but I gotta go with the beaver. Yeah, that's what angry beaver. Angry beavers. Okay, so you can go to the left, but I think Power. that's a strong encounter. Yeah. After the Oh, this one. Yeah. I mean, powering up a card's pretty cool, too. It is. But getting the beaver onto something. I, I kind of actually have too many cards is also part of the issue. Mm -hmm. I want to get rid of this caged wolf so bad. <laughs> the leaping bee spitting bear. <laughs> I'm going oh, for he it. doing it. Am I your choice? You seem to want to get sacrificed, my dude. It's stinky. A damn constructing bear. <laughs> You damn bear! Yeah, my curve is getting a bit high, mm -hmm. which is kind of scary. I would love to get some more bone cards. Do I sack the beaver? <laughs> Putting the hive on the beaver would make it a beaver. <laughs> hmm. 
Damn, 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 dams. You know what? I'm gonna go with this. Marvelous. I would like it if the wolf was a bit harder to kill. Because that is, um, would be struck a tail's crane in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. So I think that's pretty cool. I have the power up to my two cost cards here. This game is really nifty. Very interesting. You're right. It's a total encounter. <gasps> oh, a bee. Oh, they all stink! They all stink! Chat! It's you, chat! Chat, you're right here! Chat, you made it! Opening hand, chat! Oh, you, okay, you can't draw a squirrel, can you? No. Oh, I already have. Oh, you can't do anything! Ant queen. Well, I could play the ant, but I don't know if I want to do that. I, mean, I could go ant and ant queen. There's two bees coming in hot. Yeah. Uh, but I could take the damage. We could play chat next time, and chat would just, like, wreck them. Yeah, I think that's a good call. And then I could play, like, everything. Yeah, with chat on the board? Yeah. Hell yeah. So you're not playing anything for this no. first round. No squirrel. I could wreck that bee. Stinky bee. Stinky, stinky bees. bees. You need to have at least a two attack if you want to stink those stinky bees. <laughs> Oh. oh, I guess it won't oh really that does matter. damage to it. Did it? No. No? no. Chat's always had two HP? Yep. Okay, cool. It's one of their greatest weaknesses. Oh, put the ants out. Put the ants out. <laughs> now you gotta wait for that tree to get broken down. No, that one's gonna hit. Oh, it's actually not gonna come out. I should probably draw because. Oh, that's good. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Oh! Lucky for you. So then I kill that one too. That's really cool, actually. Ooh, you can put more bees out. <laughs> or ants, sorry. More ants. Make them stronger with your ant power. Oh, I have to draw a card. Um, beaver. Wow. Bones. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is That's either. That's the trapper. Yeah, so you can train trade my bones, bones for things. Yeah, your teeth for for furs. And where would I? Where would that pay off? Uh, there, down the right hand side. Uh. So you need to. Oh, right here. Yeah. No, no. No. Up more. Up more. It's at the very top of the screen on the right. Oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. That one, eh? Yeah. This chat ant combo is nasty, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is the better path to go. I don't know what this is, of course, but I think that with all our bones, I think we want to be doing that. It's going to suck because it's going to flood up our hand. Well, kind of. I Because I kind of... I have the most exquisite pelts. Okay, so... The I have first one, one's free. Two. One, two, three, four, five I have? Six. How do you know? I think that that's two teeth in the in the bowl. I'm not 100%. Oh my god, I had nine. Okay. You'll need more teeth for that one. I had so many. How the hell, how the hell do I know how many freaking teeth I have? I'm, I'm okay. I would like to leave. <laughs> do I have to, uh, do I have to like buy them all? Can I just go? I'd like to leave. Do you take your cards? Ah. Click on the teeth to order them up. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to go this way. Yeah, because uh, that, that's the yeah. trader over there, and we yeah. want what yeah. they have. And we power up a card. Though the warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, though the ten enhance its power. power. Well, so far nothing's died, so I'm gonna trust it. 
pick something else. Do what you must. Chat doesn't need more power. Chat needs more health. Does... I, I mean... I think the moose buck. Chat having more health power is not bad, though. <laughs> more power. The opossum would be really nice to power up. I think I'm going to do the moose buck, because that, that damage is a little lacking. For seven health? Yeah. I I mean, yeah. Also, flying, blocking, freaking scary grizzly. The survivors, they enchant the creature's power. Spotting the few survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat. Hasty retreat! A hasty retreat! Very cool game, though. Really, really neat. Yeah, we're gonna be playing it this week. Ka ka ka! Everything gonna be blocking flying! Ka ka! <laughs> Look, uh, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get uh, things back to normal. Oh, three cards coming in. Oh, child 13! I would play the child and then sacrifice the child. Put the squirrel yeah. down. Yeah, sack sacrifice it. child. Sacrifice child for... For stoat. Hell yeah. Oh my god. There's... Oh, there's a spider on it! Uh, bye. Oh. Okay, so the it's aquatic and flying. Waterborne. The wa self. Uh, sorry, bearing this sigil <gasps> submerge itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Okay, so they, they're like opposite of flyer. Oh. oh. It, I think he oh. becomes more powerful the more you sack him. That's so cool. Oh, and if I had to sack him 13 times for like the ultimate. Oh, that's so cool. Crap. I think it only has one health though, so it's going to die. I kind of placed yeah, it Yeah, you placed it in, a, in an odd Oh, place. no, it's flying, so it's going to go over anyway. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Are they all flying? Yes. And those ones are aquatic, so oh, they. And they fly block. Yeah. Jesus. Well, whatever. <laughs> Shut up, Stoat. You don't know me. Oh, I could play this. Oh, but it won't block because it's flying, so it'd just be a dead card. Yeah. Wow. Wow, though. That was a lot of damage just coming right out. Yeah. And those get put under. I have Child to Sacrifice. Oh, for frick's sakes. I'm playing with so much weight here. I think we can do it, though. I think so. Oh, oh, my, oh god. my god. At least the stoat's unkillable, so this is a really cool combo. Yeah. Oh, the child. No, my child! Chat! Oh, I need... I need yeah! That's so sad. It's gonna be okay. I can get a squirrel next turn, and chat will just, like, win this for us. Yeah. Because I can sacrifice the stoat, bring the stoat back. I need a squirrel. I can sack chat to bring the stoat back because it's unkillable. Yes, of course. Okay, do it. Oh, ah, oh, oh. <laughs> boop, boop. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then... Stoat. Yeah. 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 What are you going to do about six damage? Die. Wow. All right, now we have so much pelt. What can we get for the golden pelts? Show me some exquisite pelts. Hair pelts. <sighs> the Rat King. Many bones. Many oh, bones? Uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of bones, and the coyote would be nice to sacrifice. So what does mole do? When up space will be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Cool. Oh, okay, so it's a mole's really cool. Yeah. Elk fawn probably becomes. I love the rat king art though. Rat king art's pretty great. I I need bone cards though. Sure, pick up the coyote. Elk fawn is pretty cool. Mole's a tank. Yeah, mole's cool. I like mole, but I kind of need bone. Oh, wolf pelts too. Exquisite. Ooh. Oh. Oh, and the sparrow touch of death. <laughs> the 
Skink skunk. All right. Skink skunk. Oh, that Six wolf bones. evolves in one turn. Oh, the rattler evolves. Oh, my God. Six bones for the rattler, two blood for that wolf that evolves. I don't think I have that many bones mm, being produced. Not, oh, well, well, everything dies, right? Yeah. It's every time <laughs> Underwater <dies>. grizzly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> rattler with growth is kind of nasty, right? Like, I think those are the growth cards are kind of kind of crazy. Should we do it? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Or the wolf. Oh, we did it. Is is that a, a golden pelt? Magnificent. Oh, another child. Another 13. child. Gek. <laughs> Gek. Long elk. How long is it? Very long, apparently. Touch of death moves to the right. Gek. Gek. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking at Gek. 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 Uh, I'm thinking Gek. Chet loves I'm Gek. Curious. My boy Gek. <laughs> Gek. <laughs> You have my gratitude. Do I could have had two child 13s. Do we want to imbue Gek with the power of something or, or increase power? I think I want to imbue because I got to I gotta thin out my deck a little bit. Yeah, you have cards. a lot of stuff. I know. Because my, my deck is getting a bit bulky. I know, but you're losing out on these cards that have stuff. Like, the yeah. thing is, Ant isn't bad. No. Because you just basically get squirrels. It's it, the card advantage. Oh, except for you one, uh, they're one blood, one blood cost for squirrels? Uh, they are one blood cost, yes. Um, Build I think... things on Gek, it's free? Wait, does that mean... Okay, can you get out of here? And put Gek up there first? What does that mean? Gek. Okay, I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm probably going to build Gek. Oh, Gek's free! That's what it means. You can just cast Gek for free. <laughs> it's, oh, too bad you have uh, unkillable, uh, like the sacrifice thing on Child 13. I know. Ugh. Dams. Getting two dams on Gek for free is pretty good. Right? Because I would put him down, I'd get two blockers. Like it's not the greatest thing. And I would do I get bones for those dams? Gek would be an infinite sacrifice squirrel. I know. Put uh beaver on Gek, right? That's what I, I'm thinking too. Yeah. I would also like unkillable. I gotta get some cards with some things, because we can build out Gek to be pretty cool. I don't yeah. know how long this run's gonna go for, of course, but but yeah, I, th I think dams on Gek is fine. Like, I'm a little hesitant with dams because I don't like flooding my your board thing. Yeah. And I don't think that these block flying, which is sad. Um, you get but for bones for anything, anything that dies dying? on your side. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that or Ant on Gek. That's what I, like any any of those like things. Well, because Ant goes to my hand, and I don't know if I have a maximum hand size or not. Do you guys know? Um, I might do Ant Queen. <laughs> But it doesn't matter because Gek won't have ants. Okay, you know I'm just ah, start with dams. I'm doing dams because it's too expensive anyway. I love you, Gek. Gek, no max hand size. That's good. Yeah. Dams block. I give bones. I can't be sacrificed, and they don't, don't block, block flying. Yeah. The foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. On the angler, go fish. We got squirrel in the child 13, which is pretty cool. That's, which... a, that's a really, and smoke. Yeah. And smoke's just four bones. Ah, <sighs> flying. Oh, flying and it goes underwater on your turn too. So, uh, and I can sacrifice smoke, right? Did we do that last time? I think we did. I think so. Because if I did squirrel, smoke, child 13. Sack child 13 for ant. Yeah, all right. I don't need to play squirrel right away. I can play squirrel whenever. Oh, sorry. Well, that's not true. Smoke can be sacrificed. Good to know. Ah. Uh... Nickelodeon gag. <laughs> yeah, 
protect the protect the child. Oh, you can get moose buck out. Yeah. You have so many bones. Oh, child went back to being child. Oh, oh it flips back and forth. Which fish? Which fish? It's hard to choose. Oh, he's got hooked. Coyote. That's kind of nice. Hefty. I guess I can't see what the hook does. There's your fish. Easy to choose. Ah. Oh, he's going to hook him. I see. We are... Go fish. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice bucket of bait. Cage Wolf. <sighs> Cage Wolf is so useless. What are you here for? Just to block. Oh! Go fish. Oh. Uh -oh. Yay! Well, oh. Yep. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's me. Watashi. <laughs> uh, uh, I could get myself, like, way up there. Oh my god, that's gonna... Oh, shoot! I'm so dumb! I'm so dumb! I'm so dumb! You're lucky that moose moved. I know. I know. Because you can make stoat happen by I know. And child 13, child, but child 13 is going to make a shark happen if you sacrifice it. I know. The angler, mind his hook, play a squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. Okay. Oh no, it won't. It flies. You're right, Flirt. It flies. It flies. The child flies, so if you sack it for the stoat, yeah. you'll be I able to fly. I can play the stink bug, too. Yeah. Everything's I think I might sacrifice the stink bug to go there, and I'll play the stoat. No, I'll play the stoat on you the unkillable. You can actually use the cage wolf to protect yourself. You're not wrong, DFM. We can. Uh, if I sacrifice stink bug and put the cage... Yeah, I think I'll do that. Give me two sacrifices, so the child's gonna go back. I thought the child goes back at the end of the turn. Oh, is it in a turn? I don't know. I sacrificed it twice, so maybe. Okay. Because I thought I sacrificed it again, but bad play. You shut up. Um. Okay. Oh. oh. Um. Um, um. And that's fine. I think. Oh, I think you basically win. Oh, child flips every time it's sacrificed. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I I do. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Because I, I can just kill him. Uh, yeah. And I think I should probably just kill him. Because yeah. this can go bad yeah, so this can quickly. Go, like, yeah. yeah. You, you, so I think you I'm just going to squirrel. Boom. I mean, I think I just win if I press it. Look at this freaking... <laughs> <laughs> but let's get no. stowed out. <laughs> yeah, sure. Totally you know, I, I really feel like unkillable stoat is uh, really on brand for him. Yeah. Okay. Ding, ding. Nice. <laughs> Let me relight your candles. Grizzle? You may choose a rare card. <laughs> the eternal serpent death strengthens it forever. Forever? I got I think I gotta go with the Ouroboros. Ouroboros? Because he said forever, so that's like a, a forever evolving card. Unkillable? Cool. That sounds really neat though. Like, every time it dies, it comes back stronger. Yeah, if I can get the sacrifice thing on it. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner will have to wait. Let me see. A frigid gust of wind billowed unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the, the snow, snow line. line. Well, we don't know what this is. Oh, cool. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours. In a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again. But first you will choose a trial. The trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. I think we can do that. Oh. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must have a cost of four blood combined. The trial of bones. The three must have five bones combined. Ah, uh, tough. I. You have some high blood costs, right? But you also have some high damage. I don't think bones is the way to go. No, absolutely not. Damage or blood. Damage or blood. Damage. You definitely do blood. Yeah. That's what Daniel says. You can definitely do blood. You can definitely clear blood. Let the trial. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Zero from failure. We would have done power so easily. Frick! We didn't know. We didn't know. That's oh. pitiful possum. Frozen opossum bottle to the user. The frozen opossum is creating your hand. A frozen opossum is defined as zero power, five health, throw frozen away. Uh, and I don't think I can sacrifice it. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. No, it has the X in the corner. <laughs> the only two bone cards in our deck, right? <laughs> uh, frozen away perishes. The creature inside is released in its place. Oh, you okay. know what? I'm going to take that. So that's a blocker and yeah. then there's just a possum inside. That's really good, I think. Oh! It's bleeding yields the three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Oh, and they fill you up. Well, I'm definitely taking the goat because that's, whew, that's a powerful. I think we can get one more. Yeah, I think we can get one more. Oh, it's chat and child. Oh, my God. And stoat. What a hand. Oh, my what God. What a hand. <laughs> oh, 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 uh -oh. Uh oh. Those are going to become deer. Yeah. So you oh. can squirrel into child and then child yeah. into go stoat and then stoat into. I'm going to keep my child alive. Yeah, keep your child safe. Stoat, I don't care about. He always comes back. Okay. Okay. I could, I could oh, sack both of them to get chat see. out. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I could sack chat to yeah, get yeah, Stoat yeah, back yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come on. And then. Oh, I should have sacrificed child. You should have, but it's okay. Oh, it's too late. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, sure. I think I just one shot him. <laughs> yeah, you did. I could have got more damage. You could have. Oh, well. Well, now we want to do one more. Oh, these are the blood. Oh, yeah, oh those are the ones where it's like you pick the cost and then you get the card. Yeah. A random card Which based I think on is that. good because I need some lower cost cards. Yeah. And then we can sacrifice one up Breaking there. Breaking so cool. the world. Breaking the game. A random bone cost card. We need more bone. Oh, a cockroach. Cool. That's very good. Because uh, the best part of it. Exactly. And, oh, here we go. I know. I know. That's pretty crazy. Come on, cockroach. Hey. Oh, what? Oh, there it is. Hey, there he is. So who gets unkillable? Could it be? What? Where's Gek? Gek? Where's Gek? You didn't draw Gek. That's kind of fucked That's up. That's so sad for Gek. I think I might put it on child. Because child dies, child comes back to hand. Can oh, yeah. play child again. Yeah. Sacrifice child more. Child doesn't die when sacrificed. I would love to get unkillable chat. Do we have that? 
No, we don't have that. No, we don't have chat as an option. Sad. I think it's got to be Unkillable Child 13. I think so, yeah. No, Un Gek, sadly. Unkillable Child on 13, yeah. yeah unkillable un Ant! <laughs> unkillable Gek would have been crazy. Oh, Unkillable Ant Queen? That is good, but two blood. But we have a lot of sacrifice. Ah, uh, no, I don't want that. I think I want the child. Yeah. Because I'm sad when child goes away. I know, child's very good. This game has such a one more turn vibe. Oh, absolutely. Oh, Gek! <laughs> uh, Six bones. Yeah, I know. It's expensive. And Gek makes dams. Gek makes dams. Which is going to kind of save us, but also kind of screw us. Yeah. Put Gek. Put Gek down. Save Gek. Like, the cool thing is you can do Gek and Squirrel and then get rid of Gek and Squirrel. For a leg wolf. <laughs> Which I think I might do. Oh, spider, click it. Oh, shoot, sorry. Sorry, Hi, Gek. Oh, unkillable Gek. Unkillable Gek. I wish we could have gotten so unkillable Gek. Oh, Wolf doesn't work with uh, the dams between him. <laughs> nope. That's okay, well, though. Done. Ooh. Close one. Uh, so that would be the hell. Yeah, how much teeth there. do we have? Or do I want a new card? And there's a sacrifice up there. I'm going for the oh, sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you this, got for me? This new card could have some really cool stuff. An incent raven. It is no less conniving. A pernicious vulture, tyrant of the skies. The tyrannical uh, great white, master of the teeth. I'm gonna reshuffle these. Hey! Oh, <gasps> goat. goat! The snapper. I'm gonna take the goat because the sacrifice, if I, I you if I can get that on child. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of this sacrifice shenanigans. I really want unkillable geck though. I know. Go the Ouroboros. But goat, yeah. I forgot that Ouroboros is unkillable. Oh, yes, 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 yes. 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 Yes! Because you can sack him for I something know. and get so much blood. You can't upgrade cards twice at stones. How do you get multiple things on them? Oh, oh. they have to come with them. Squirrel. Wow. Squirrel That's stoat. Fun. Because Stoat's unkillable. Stoat is unkillable. <laughs> Stoat is unkillable. Oh, I oh. gotta take out that alpha. Yeah, that alpha. All right, Stoat, you gotta do it, bro. Stoatsy. Go, Stoatsy. <laughs> Stoatsy. Back on the board. Well. Bam. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Enough. Uh, because I'm gonna play the possum this turn. The worker ant is kind of useful, but also not really. Because those raven eggs are going to become actual real I life know. whole ass I'm gonna ravens. Risk oh, Yay! it's the child! Okay. Oh, I'd have to sacrifice. Oh, wait, well, I sacrifice stoat to get oh, or thing a possum. back. Or a possum, you're right. Because possum. But I'd get stoat back in my hand, and then I could play stoat oh. again with a child. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, do that. That's smart. That's smart. Black. Oh, come. I'm back. Ba -da. Ba -da. Keep me alive. And now it has freaking full ass. Oh, and you can do possum too. Yeah. <sighs> Those eggs though. I know. I, I shouldn't take out that wolf. <laughs> no. I got two free tacos. Hmm. It's not so bad. You know, it's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. eh. What is... Gek! Gek! Okay, Gek being a beaver doesn't help you right now. <laughs> Gek being a beaver does not help you right now. I should have rethought my Gek.
This doesn't really do much. Gek? He, he's not gonna block any damage, sadly. But he's gonna deal some damage. Yeah! Gek! Uh oh. I'm okay. I'm not okay! I'm not okay! Oh no! I could have survived it if I could count! Damn it. Alright, one one trial and then we'll. The trial of the dragon. Or trial blood. of blood, trial of wisdom, trial of power. Blood! Let the trial of blood begin. Oh my god! I should have learned! When will you learn that your actions have consequences? You only have the option of ant, stinky, or pushy. Or push. But I don't think you should get rid of the stink bug because he talks to us. I know, right? But maybe he wants to be sacrificed. Who do you want to get turned into ants? Ant? <laughs> ant into more ant? Well, you basically are making a cheaper, cheaper ant queen. I know, right? <laughs> Hello. Cheap ant queen's good? Yeah. Yeah, two bone for an ant queen. Well, it's going to be tough going into it after the thing, but... I know. Um, I think that's going to be... That's going to be it for today. I don't think the room has changed. No, we got all those things. Oh, God, he scares me. Yeah, I was pretty Wait, confident, but... can we look at the squirrel? The squirrel? In that box? Did we get it? The squirrel head? Because it's like you don't know what it is until you meet her. No, the, in the in the puzzle box. Oh, I I did get it. I don't oh, you have did get it, it though. Okay. Like it's it's it was received, but I don't know. All right. Ah, what fun. a really fun game. Yeah, cool game though. We're gonna be playing it again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesday we'll be taking a day off, uh, and then Wednesday, Thursday, and then starting next Sunday, um, probably gonna be playing a, a different longer RPG. Uh, also, don't forget, we have the New Year's Extravaganza all day stream where we're doing all sorts of fun things like, you know, checking out some old streams, checking out the Reddit, doing our uh, year-end Smash finale. And yeah. I, I actually have something cool to tell you uh, when we play SMT5, because I know people are asking about SMT5 and the Smash finale, so I have a plan. It's not... There's a plan! It's not super exciting, but I'm, oh. sure, you, I'm sure you'll probably be happier than nothing. <laughs> happier than not happy? Happier than not happy. Um, oh, right, I forgot. I turned off autofocus. It's because George was <laughs> stealing your light. George was like, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take care of doctor. Um, so, yeah, New Year's Eve. Uh, we'll be streaming all day, uh, doing stuff, hanging out with you, maybe more Among Us. That was a lot of fun with the roles <gasps> and stuff. Uh, so, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Chatting from the future. Imagine. Woo! Never, right? um, super cool, though. Super fun. Uh, this is a fun game. and uh, yeah, Really fun same. game. We'll serve, really we'll serve, cool. We'll serve. I thought it was scary, but it's actually really interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Friday is the thirty-first, right? That's correct. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be live all day Friday, and then we'll be we'll be taking Saturday off. So, That's right. Yeah, we'll have a, a little a little drink, a little celebration. It'll be fun. All right. <laughs> awesome. See you later. Thank you. We'll see you at SMT. 